Our aim, to find the focal length of a convex lens. Materials used were one tea candle, a meter stick, a screen, and a convex lens. First, place the tea candle on the zero centimeter of the meter stick. Make sure the middle of the candle where the flame would be is on the zero so that measurements are more accurate. Light your candle then turn out the room lights. Your lens should always be somewhere between the screen and the candle. You should see the image of the candle flame refracted onto the screen. Adjust the placement of your lens and screen until the image on the screen is clear and focused. Have your partner take the measurement in centimeters from the lens to the candle. This is your U. Record this data most conveniently on Excel so you won't have to do it later. U would be your X value. Have your partner then take the measurement in centimeters from the lens to the screen. This is your V. Record this data on to your Excel table. V would be your Y value. Repeat the last three steps at least 40 times to collect 40 sets of data. Your data table should look something like this. Put your data into a scatter plot graph. Remember to include the primary title, the horizontal title, and the vertical title. Your data slope should look something close to this. Using a pencil in case of any error, draw, an, draw a curve following your data points as close as possible to make the next step easier. Draw linear asymptotes for your horizontal and vertical x and y data. They should not be touching your data points. Note the point of intersection of both asymptotes on your x-axis. This is your focal length. It should appear something like this graph. Our results told us that the focal length was 14.5 centimeters. Here are the calculations we did using our own data. We used the thin lens equation to find the focal length. The average focal length calculated was about 10.5. We compared the focal length obtained from the graph and the focal length from our calculations. The focal length from our calculations came out smaller than the focal length of our graph. This tells us that perhaps we didn't plot enough points and that the curve could have started at an earlier point, which would have given us a more accurate focal length from the graph. Our errors could have possibly included inaccuracy with measuring the distances u and v, not plotting enough points, and in determining where the image was the most focused. What we could do in the future to reduce errors is to use a device that can measure the distances more accurately, to plot the points until the reflection no longer appears on the screen. This happens when your object is past, the lens is past the focal length. And be more careful when deciding where the image is most focused. We fulfilled our goal and found the focal length of our convex lens. It seems that our data was quite accurate even though our graph was off. We know this because the focal lengths we obtained fr from doing the manual calculations using our data points were all consistent.